Welcome to another episode of Tech Talks Today, where we dive deep into the latest innovations reshaping our world. I'm your host, and today we're going to explore a fascinating framework called Prompt Wizard. You might be wondering, what exactly is Prompt Wizard? Well, put simply, it's optimization optimization framework designed to empower language models generate responses and tackle tasks. This isn't your ordinary software. It's a self-evolving mechanism that allows a language model to critique and refine its own prompts continuously. Imagine a tool that gets smarter over time. Kind of like how we learn from our mistakes. That's Prompt Wizard for you. Now let's break this down a bit. The framework consists of three main components. The first one is feedback-driven refinement. Here, the language model generates prompts, evaluates them, and then revises them based on the feedback it receives. It's like having a personal coach who helps you improve after each attempt. Then we have critique and synthesize diverse examples. This means the model can create a variety of synthetic examples that are robust enough to help it understand tasks better. Think of it as having a toolbox filled with different methods to solve a problem. The more tools you have, the more versatile you can be. And lastly, there's the self-generated chain of thought, or CoT for short. It involves creating logical sequences to guide the model through complex problem-solving scenarios. This isn't just about throwing a prompt at the model. It's about crafting a series of thought processes that lead to better answers. So how does this all work in action? Let's take a look at some realistic scenarios for using Prompt Wizard. One of the simplest ways is optimizing prompts without examples. This means you can fine tune your prompts even if you don't have a ton of examples to work with. Another scenario is generating synthetic examples. This is particularly useful when you're lacking real world data. Instead of being stuck, the model can simulate the kind of data it needs to learn and improve. So say goodbye to running out of material. Next, you have the option of optimizing prompts with actual training data. For instance, if you're able to use existing data sets like GSM 8K or Aquarat, you can unleash the full potential of Prompt Wizard, giving it real meat to work with. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The framework doesn't just change how we generate prompts, it actually enhances the understanding and performance of the language models. It accomplishes this through detailed iterations and using various parameters to tweak how the model operates. Trust me, it might sound technical, but at its core, it's all about making machines smarter at understanding human language. If you're a data scientist or someone interested in AI, you'd want to know about the best practices that come from using Prompt Wizard. For example, adjusting the parameters for optimal performance is crucial. They found that using a balance of real and synthetic examples often yields the best results. Keeping an eye on how these configurations impact the final output can make a world of difference in your projects. Before we wrap up, let's touch on the implications of this technology. As AI continues to evolve, frameworks like Prompt Wizard help improve the efficiency and accuracy of language models, thus making them more reliable for users. It's almost like equipping these models with an advanced understanding of context, making it easier for them to engage more meaningfully with us. So, what's the takeaway today? Prompt Wizard epitomizes how we can leverage technology not just to enhance user experience, but to fundamentally rethink how we interact with machines. It represents a big step forward in optimizing language-based tasks using intelligent design and feedback loops. And that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed our conversation today, be a uh, 